Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra, and today we are going to talk about one of the crypto project that you can use and maybe you can explore from the investment perspective. I'll share my insights. It's not a deep dive like the way we usually do. It's like just more of a touch up. But something I want you to pay attention to because it could be a very interesting project in the days to come, and especially with all the layer two. theme which is being played out this could be very interesting for a lot of people so again something that you can add into your watch list okay so the project which i'm talking about is called vela exchange okay uh, so vela exchange was previously known as dex pool on ethereum before they moved the development to arbitrum and if you know arbitrum is basically layer 2 scaling solution for ethereum and the project on layer 2 solution are becoming very popular and a good example of this is this another exchange called gmx and you can see the gmx exchange has skyrocketed in the recent time and let me show you the price chart also of the gmx token so yeah it went down till 13 17 dollar right now it is trading at 62 dollar and it is uh, i mean right now it is one of the hottest token in the market of course i am not sure if you want to get into at this price or not again that's completely your choice but you can see in the last uh, one year the low was 11 dollar the high is 76 dollar and it is sort of ranging between 40 to 60 dollar which could be a good opportunity for grid bot trading if you could get the lower side entry point but anyways so the point here is this G, uh, the this decentralized exchanges are becoming very popular especially after ftx implosion and th these are per futures market token and they also some of them also offer the spot trading uh, feature now now with the layer 2 solution the benefit is you don't have to pay really high gas fee and the transaction happens in record time and with the time i think this will improve a lot now here is how you can get started so once you are on the website uh, this is the vela exchange you will click on launch the app and this is the kind of page you would see so you need to connect your account you can connect using your metamask or wallet connect or coin by coinbase so wallet connect is a feature uh, by which you can connect with third party wallets like trust wallet rainbow wallet and other but what you need to understand that this project is on arbitrum chain so if you are using a uh, metamask for example right this should be your screen something like this now at the top you see this option called ethereum right here you can add different network and arbitrum one is one of the network so you know the address will remain the same but the network will change to arbitrum now if you have never done this by default you will not see this option called arbitrum one so what you need to do is you when you click on connect your wallet select metamask you will get this option to switch to arbitrum and what that would do is that would essentially add uh, all the settings for arbitrum one and then you can start using it so that's how you get started now if you find this piece confusing or you want me to do a detailed walk through just let me know and i'll do another video on this okay so anyways i'm just going to connect with my metamask and show you more about this app So I'll select Wallet Connect. Now it says now the wallet is connected. Now I have to sign in with this address to confirm that this is I, which I'll do. Uh, now by default I'm on Ethereum network, so it is uh, this app detected that and it's, it is suggesting me to change my network to View Vela Exchange. Now if I don't have Arbitrum blockchain setting on my wallet, it will also add that. Okay, so now it is connected, right? And this is how the dashboard looks like. At this time, they have few assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and and few currencies. And the, of course, the currency market is closed right now. But these are the assets that you can speculate. Uh, you can so let's say this is Bitcoin. You can go long, short. They have like lot of option. Stop market, stop limit order, and you can also leverage the market up to twenty x. but the bigger question is how do you get started and here is how this entire thing work so very first thing you'll do is you'll click on deposit and you need to uh, okay let's go to account and here you need to deposit crypto now the problem is your metamask wallet needs to have uh, usdc and ethereum or only ethereum and then you can always convert ethereum to usdc so basically what you will do is you will uh copy your 
metamask address or if you are using metamask or if you are using any other wallet you would copy the address then you would go to binance and you will select ethereum right so here i'm like on the binance withdrawal page of the crypto i'll enter the address and this is a very important step in the withdrawal network you will select arbitrum of course it's showing congested but anyways and then whatever amount that you want to withdraw you can select that and click on uh, withdraw so right now i don't have the fund but you get the idea this is how you uh, basically withdraw the fund to the arbitrum network so this part is very important and unfortunately binance does not offer usdc withdrawal uh, on arbitrum so you can always withdraw ethereum and make sure that you select the network as arbitrum similarly like in the future i'll be also talking about optimism which is another layer 2 solution for uh, ethereum but yeah so once you have ethereum on arbitrum network you would see it here now you can always click on swap and you can select let's say usdc and then you can enter the amount and swap the ethereum to usdc right that's how you would get ethereum and usdc make sure that you keep some amount of ethereum on your wallet to pay for the gas fee even though gas fee is pretty low okay so that's how you get the uh, token on your arbitrum wallet so once you have it you can actually go to well exchange and then you can click on deposit crypto you can select your crypto for example i can just simply you know add usdc if i want to add click on deposit and it's added now i can see there is already i've added about 50 dollar of balance right uh now now once i have this i can start uh taking trade based on my you know capital again i highly recommend you that uh vela exchange it's not for the beginner trader this is for the people who understand how trading works mostly pro traders and people who understand futures trading or um, if you are if you are if your win ratio is more than your loss ratio probably you can try your hands on this otherwise learn that and then get into uh, futures trading that that would help you a lot anyways so now uh, so this is how you get started they also have a really nice leaderboard where you can see who who are the top leader and you know like this add a kind of gamification which is very interesting for everyone uh, and I, I think it's a good motivation factor right uh, then you also have stake option right you can stake your vela token so uh, vela exchange has this token called vela which you can stake so let's say you go to account and if you have vela token on your wallet on your arbitrum wallet and uh, if you don't have you can always get it from either camelot exchange which is a decentralized exchange or you can also get it from mexc exchange which is a centralized exchange uh, I've talked about MEX exchange before. If you have not read about MEX exchange, you can f read about this exchange in the link in the description. Anyways, so once you have the Vela token, you can withdraw it to your MetaMask wallet or uh, on the Arbitrum network. And you can always go to stake and you can stake it, right? You can stake your uh, token and and of course it also offers, give you option to unstake, which takes about three days. Now here, here you can find all the detail about Vela token supply. Now, Vela team has announced since they shifted from another DEX to Vela that the tokenomics is going to be the same as the earlier token. But later on, they clarified that to improve the tokenomics, they would cut the maximum supply by 50%. So, th so there is there's going to be only 50 million maximum supply of Vela token, right? Uh, and then you can stake it if you want like and then you can earn the you know reward of vela token now again i have to do deep dive on what are the benefits of vela token but you can always find it from the white paper list okay so i'll leave the link of this uh white paper page where you can read all about you know their tokenomics something which i have to uh, it will take few hours to really deep dive rather than just giving you an overview it looks interesting but there are few questions so i suggest you to like go through tokenomics in detail before you make your uh before you decide how do you want to proceed with uh vela to but the one very important thing which makes or breaks the tokenomics is the vela dis the distribution of the token now what i really like here is that community incentive is about of uh, 60 which is pretty good 
So the advisor and investors have kept about uh, keeping about eight percent. Team growth is about five percent. DXP allocation is seven percent, which we let's check what is it. So includes all DXP that has been assigned to the following, all of which will be claimable one per. So basically, it's for the conversion of DXP token to Vela token. Then the core team has about ten percent, and the marketing is for ten percent. So about ten, fifteen, uh, twenty, twenty-three percent is with the team, and sixty uh, percent is what hopefully is what with the community is. So overall. Uh, I late. I mean, this is not a deep dive as I said earlier, but Vela Exchange looks uh, pretty interesting to me, com- and especially when I compare it with the peers like GMX, the with the with the market cap and with the growth that GMX has seen, Vela Exchange could be a very interesting project. Of course, there are some threat threat in the form of like there is this exchange called DYDX. They are not an arbitrum. So they could launch on the Arbitrum, which could be a game changer. Similarly, there is another exchange called Joey, uh, which is on Av- Avalanche and Trader Joe. And probably they are going to be launching on the Arbitrum uh, sometime this year. So maybe you want to keep an eye on this exchange also. But overall, if you're looking for a decentralized exchange where you can speculate some of the uh, projects, you know, like uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or uh, Dogecoin, well, this is, you can try Vela Exchange. When you sign up, it will ask you for a referral code. I'll leave the uh, referral code in the description or you can just use the link to sign up. Now, yeah, pretty much that's it, guys. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.